for you know testing illegally on the buildings. But also what happened is that the riots, I don't know if you remember in 2005, there were some major riots in France that went all over the neighborhood. They actually started in front of that photo. The two kids that died being chased by the police in uh, 2005 actually died right in front of this photo. So my work suddenly become the background of the largest riots we had since the French Revolution. And so I was on the cover of New York Times, not for my work, but because I was the background of those riots. And so this is the context of which my work is born. And I guess me as an artist, in the middle of, of that violence and, and the riots. And so I guess I had to construct myself and, and, and create uh, in, in the continuity of that. And so my next project was very quickly I went to the Middle East in Israel and Palestine and when I went there uh, it was the first time that I did a project uh, you know outside of France I, ha I haven't traveled much at the time and so I pasted photos of Israeli and Palestinian doing the same job so you know here's two taxi driver uh, two students uh, two teachers and I pasted them on Israeli cities and Palestinian cities, both together. But the people could not recognize who is who. They couldn't recognize which one was the Israeli taxi driver or the Palestinian taxi driver. And so the project people told me, we allow you to do it on this side, but they will never let you do it on the other side. And when I was on the other side, people would tell me the exact same thing. We let you do it here, but they'll never let you do it on the other side. And I realized the power of documenting, actually. The documentation of it, the videos of how it was made actually had even more impact than the work itself because then people saw how people were reacting to it. Um, those were the three religious and even when the, the nuns came and they recognized the priest they started pasting him. I think, uh, you know, I was 20 or 21, it was the, for me the first time I realized the, the, the power that art can have. Then I went to Brazil, this was 2008, and for a project that took me a couple of years, it's called Women Are Heroes, and I realized in communities like this, women are the pillars of their community, but the men are the ones that you know, hold the walls somehow. And so, when you see that, you realize that even if the women are the first victims of the violence, of the conflict, I wanted to highlight them, but I wanted the men to help to do it. And so, that was the first time that I actually pasted eyes because a lot of the houses, if you see, they're horizontal. So we had to crop the image. And then I decided to actually focus on the eyes, which I'm sure you would have done the same thing. And so that, that was really, for me, the, the, the beginning of working within a community, staying in the same location for so long, and creating a project. And 15 years later, I'm still in that community, we have a school now, and, and, and we continue, so I'm going there once or twice a year. And so I know some of the kids that I met there when they were seven years old, and now they're 20 something. So it's amazing also to see the, 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 the impact of art, and how art can have an impact. I started realizing that, uh, uh, you know, along that project. This was the stair uh, that takes you all the way up to the favela, and um, and actually this, this, this woman, we pasted her on the stair, but it was my first anamorph, which means that it was the first time that I, I used and distorted an image to change the perspective we have on the location. And suddenly those stairs looked like a giant wall. 